Whoa! <laughs> yes, this is one of the ones that I definitely wanted. Oh my god! What's up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. Of course, we're doing more. We got two more boxes, one Mew, one Mewtwo. Uh, but actually, we have a lot to do in this video. Uh, we're going to do a quick mail day, and then I have a serious discussion uh, about a couple of my subscribers. And um, there was one more thing, but I can't... Oh, we're also going to talk about some pre-orders. Uh, uh, a lot of people are having a tough time trying to find this product, so we'll talk about... Maybe how to approach it going forward. But uh, first, quick mail day. <laughs> Got this bad boy from Game Nerds. Um, so they actually arrived Saturday. So, so close, but um, to arriving on release day. I do think if I live closer to Texas, I'm actually uh, in the Northeast. I would have definitely gotten here on release day. So, Game Nerds is pretty good about that, especially if you live closer to Texas. Uh, the Fed Fedusa that I ordered from eBay actually did get here, but I think I shipped from Pennsylvania. But if you, in case you didn't know, this is what a case of the pin collection box looks like. Um, I really want to keep this sealed. <laughs> Not sure how well that plan will go. But uh, all right, I'm going to put this off to the side. And while I open up these boxes, I'm just going to talk a little bit about pre orders. So, uh, you know, a lot of people have struggled to find it and I completely understand I've not I've yet to see any in Target or Walmart in fact like the Walmart just didn't have any they didn't even have a TCG section which is very strange um, and Target I saw no evidence that they were ever going to have it which was even stranger but uh, so you know I wonder my suggestion would be to kind of switch gears you know all right let's focus on the next one and that would be to go to GameStop and see if you can pre-order the tins. Um, so I actually did that on my way home from work today. And I did kind of, and they're pretty flexible. They said, uh, yeah, you know, you can put $5 down for each of the ones you want to get. And we'll call you when they arrive. And you can kind of pick the ones you want because you can't like, you can't order just the Charizard ones or the Gyarados or the Raichu. You know, they just kind of get whatever allotment they have, but they will kind of like be pretty flexible once they have them in store. The way I kind of look at it is if you were in a situation where like, oh, they were in, I went to GameStop, but they already sold out. This kind of like just uh, kind of secures your thing. Uh, they're saying at this point, it's kind of late. Like they weren't, haven't been shipped yet, but they're kind of what's allocated the stores might have already been set. So at this point, it might be a little late for that, but maybe just a thought for going forward, you know, for the ETBs, for the uh, premium boxes, the, the ball, the Pokeball ones, um, you know, GameStop will carry it and they will allow you to pre-order. Um, if you manage to do it online through like Game Notes or something, eBay, like you could get it cheaper. I'm not sure if you can get it cheaper anymore. So that's why I think it's definitely worth going to GameStop and just seeing if you can do that. Uh, just to secure it and that is a place that should have it on release day I imagine so just a quick tip for you guys and let's open three packs and then we're going to talk about a different topic briefly before we move on to the second three um, so far I feel like our pulls have been ramping up but we have yet to pull a GX and but you know I have a theory it's like oh well you know what that means is we're just saving it all up to get a really good one and you know what we're talking about there for our first pack we have Sabrina's suggestion Charmeleon Ekans Char Ooh. oh interesting this is turning out to be a very interesting pack we got Charmeleon whoa <laughs> yes this is one of the ones that I definitely wanted oh my gosh oh man we had a oh wait a minute did when we pulled the Giovanni, did we? Did this very similar thing happen? Like, this is a busted pack. <laughs> and Malamar, look, look at that Psychic Recharge. This card is still used. Oh man, let me grab a couple sleeves and a perfect fit for Jesse and James. Ooh, best, best pack so far. Oh my. Yeah, guys, we just started off a little slow, but we're starting to catch fire. 
All right, our rocket cards have been checked off. At this point in the rare slot, I think the one we still want is that Charizard. But oh man, I'm so happy to get this. This card might be pretty good. They say, I believe it's been banned in expanded format. I'm not sure how good it will be in uh, standard, but each player discards two cards in their hand. Your opponent discards first. Very cool. That was only our first pack. <laughs> Oh, do me a favor guys, hit that like button down below for this insane opening already. Just one pack in. If we like completely pewter out, this will still be a good opening. <laughs> and I hope I didn't just jinx myself. Alright, let's see. Giovanni. Koga. LT Surge. Jigglypuff. Eevee. Caterpie. Paris. Ekans. A Lapras. Paris is our... Oh. <laughs> Those regular rares, they're so good that I don't even realize they're regular rares. Alright, onto our last pack for the first box. Already this box was insane. Uh, best box so far? Maybe, very likely. Alright. Hey, all these rocket cards, well we got the ones that mattered. Brock's Gym, Pikachu, people are a fan of this art. Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing. Cubone, ah Giovanni, and oh my gosh this box is great! We got the Magnemite, can't remember if I pulled Magnemite already. I remember talking to someone about it, or at least how like, I wish it was the one with the um, with the line for the eye, so it looks like he's like super happy. But either way, very, oh man that was a great box! But uh, alright we have a serious discussion about a couple of my subs, um, let's see where should we start off, where's Thrill? Thrill of the Hunt did shoot us an email and I wanted to show off some of his insane pulls. He said he opened 21 boxes and let's see what he managed to grab. Alright, this is just some of the regular shinies he pulled and some absolutely sick stuff. A couple Beldums which is nice. I like Altaria, Eevee, double Eevee with the energy evolution. That's awesome. Uh, the type null is pretty cool. Here we go. I love this part. I love this page. It's like all a lot of these cute Pokemon, uh, except for the Buzzwall and Malmar, but those are awesome cards. Uh, Baby Buzzwall was uh, a really good card for a long time, and Malamar I still think is really good with that Psychic Recharge. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, then we also have the whip. Oh, I love all the other ones. It's like all these cute little baby Pokemon, not baby Pokemon, but the first uh, basics. Got the Wimpod, Alolan Vulpix, one of my favorites. Wooper, I love Wooper. Uh, Riolu, that's a good, that's a good shiny one. Rockruff is super cute. And Zora, Zorua, also a great one. Let's see what else we got. All right, moving on to the GX. Oh, I'm jealous. Still have yet to pull a shiny GX. <laughs> And you got double Umbreon. Any evolution is a win in my book. Uh, let's see, we got Greninja, another really cool one. Kartana and Turtonator, very nice. Not my, he looks like a turtle, but not my favorite turtle-ish Pokemon, but uh, he's, can't, uh, and oh my, look at this. I'm slowly catching up, finally got my Jesse and James. Uh, we did pick up the full art birds, but oh my gosh, look at that bottom row. Not one, but two, but three rainbow birds. Are you kidding me? That is insane. Congratulations. And then we have some of the GXs from the other sets. Uh, looks like you got all of them. I believe Charizard's in here. So I think that's the last one you're looking for. I could be wrong, but absolutely sick pulls. Congratulations. And thanks for sending me these pictures. I definitely was looking forward to showing them off for you. And for our other thing we want to talk about, um, uh, so a couple are in thinking like all right, you know started this channel a while back and it's like all right Well, how do you know when when things are picking up momentum and to me? This is a huge indicator of that and that is when someone creates a fan art for you Absolutely amazing. I love this so much uh, shout out to Andy Mo 2004 I'll put a link to your uh, Instagram down below as well as your YouTube channel um, thank you so much. I love this. This is amazing. Um, you know, I, I, I'm glad you gave me permission to use it too. So, and actually you sent me one with that sign too. So I'm going to use that one and find a way to add that to my intro or outro. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Put the 500 there to commemorate the milestone that we recently hit of crossing 500 subs. Thank you guys so much. You know, I, I'm really the, the community that, that we've slowly building. Uh, it's, 
it's great to be a part of it and thank you all thank you all so much for all your support and i love that picture all right we're back and we got three more packs even though this was already an insane opening or it was just the such a busted pack but we got three more uh yeah i really want to <laughs> I really want to try to keep that box sealed, so I wonder if we might have to start rationing. When you think about it, we only have like another in September 6th is when the tins come out, and so the game will change at that point. But I uh, wonder if I can make what we have that's not part of that sealed um, box, sealed case. Uh, I wonder if I can manage not to crack into that. We got Jolteon. Any evolution I said was a win. I Even though this Jolteon looks cool, <laughs> I meant the shiny ones. And then a reverse coughing. Oh, guys, we still have our giveaway. Um, it's Monday, but we will basically it closes Tuesday night, and I wake up really early. And Wednesday morning, we will select a winner. So definitely make sure you enter. Uh, find the video from Saturday. Actually, at the end, I'll put one of those uh, links. Will be one of them for that video. Make sure you go there and enter. You have to be a sub like the video and leave a comment hashtag turtle giveaway uh, a couple people did make uh oh another shiny altaria and we'll kind of search for that string very specifically so make sure you do enter it in as um as everyone else does that's probably the easiest way to figure it out this is a cool card that does have fight song which is kind of like dancy for dragon pokemon i feel like i've never really seen it used i wonder if zekrom mercy ram will maybe create an opening for that but i kind of don't think so i think the fact that it's just a, a stage one just makes it a little bit too much of a hassle than it's probably worth but uh really happy with that i think that's one of the one of the better like shiny just because it is that cool gold all right and to our last pack whoo this was one heck of an opening and uh thank you uh, everyone for you know that's sending me their polls and Andy I love that picture so much thank you very much we got Charmander Psyduck ooh a Zapdos very nice not the not the way we want our legendary bird but we'll take it and oh my gosh another shiny <laughs> oh bro this is another this is as far as like lines I want the whole evolutionary line for obviously Charmander Charmeleon Charizard, but then this is the, probably the next one on the list, the Ralts, Curlia, and then Gardevoir. Those GXs, they're, they're harder to pull than I thought they would be. Alright, let's recap this. This, I feel like this is my best opening yet. Alright, we got the Magnemite. I feel like I already pulled him. Curlia, oh, love this. Altaria, one of those really good ones for the golds, or the shinies. Malamar. Uh, so this is alternate, but I believe you can use this in standard. And then boom, we got the second rocket trainer, Jesse and James. That is a really good artwork. I love how they're just stumbling over each other. You got Meowth passed out. Wobbuffet's always just going. You know he's doing his thing. <laughs> but uh, all right, that was an amazing opening. But uh, just a reminder about what we were talking about earlier. If you know, especially if you have been having trouble with the pin collection, it definitely just go to a GameStop. You know, if you think it was hard, I feel like the kind of like in general shortage, short supply would probably continue on with the tins. So a way to go around it, just try to put your name on some of the ones that they're going to have in GameStop. And I, and they probably will have some, so you might as well pre-order them to kind of just reserve them. You're going to pay, it will pay the same price anyway. So uh, just a tip and uh, yeah. Let me know how everyone else is doing with this set. If you want to send me any polls, I'd be happy to show them off. Andy, thanks again. Uh, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.